see, you almost right there. Up. Look, you almost she right there. She can't mess this up. She tries to. <laughs> she can't mess this up. But nah, just, just watch me. Yeah. You know, and uh, don't move your chairs. You know, just just be ready. You see, and, and, oh, he's and I know you're ready because everything's gonna be thrown to you in reference, and you know your background, your education, your experiences. When she she'll, I'm gonna introduce her yeah. to the audience. And then she's going to in turn introduce the two of you. Yeah, just take a minute to say what well, Don't talk about the jail thing and all that yet, because we'll yeah. get into that when we come back and start mm -hmm. talking. Just, you know, my background is I graduated from such and such, or I dropped out of such and such, or mm -hmm. my background has been mostly just, uh, you know, going in and out of schools or whatever. There you go. You mm -hmm. want to glance at yourself right quick so you feel better? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, know, you ain't got to just you ain't gotta worry, worry about that. Just. Yeah. I'm the, and no, I'm the only person <coughs> that, that you. Right. I'm the most important person here for all y'all. You know what I'm saying? It is my fault. Yeah. Okay, so this is, our, this is this, our second show for today, and the name of the topic is Youth Against Murder. Yeah. Which means that both That's all young people talking three now. of you have know something about murder. You see, the and violence so, out here, and that's what we want you. That's 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 the topic today. And if y'all y'all know y'all got somebody y'all know a homie or something, get their neck. Shout they shout. You know I'm gonna give a shout out to my homie mm -hmm. who was murdered the 15th of April. You know I'm throwing some out. Just mm -hmm. you know, get them shout. Out, make their family feel good when they see this segment mm -hmm. that y'all somebody said their name. Cause you know you won't forget. We don't remember nobody name no more after the funeral and all that. Don't mm -hmm. nobody say their name no more. Never and so we, uh -huh. yeah, and then you heard about the, the son and the father. Son and the father just got murdered. When was that? Uh, oh, was that last week? Last week? It was last year. week. Uh -huh. They having the little boy thing today. 11. Mm. They asked me son. to come, and I'm like, son, son and, and the father. father. Oh, can you get this? Can you? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, just. Hello. Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Last one. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. The Lord is my shepherd, I God shall not want. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is youth against murder. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about a very, very timely topic, uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Clemmy Greenlee. And of course, Ms. Greenlee has been with us on many, many occasions. And uh, she's been responsible for bringing by individuals to uh, help uh, deal with some of the topics that we're dealing with. And uh, Ms. Greenlee, what I'd like to do uh, this morning is to first have you to give some information in reference to your activities and uh, some of the things that you've been involved in. And then you can give Mr. Langston as well as Mr. Moore an opportunity to make some statements in reference to who they are and why they're here uh, this morning. And then I think that will uh, sort of get us out of the uh, first six minutes of this particular show. Let's do it from that perspective. Okay, well, first of all, just let me thank God for being here another time and thank you for allowing me to come back. Uh, you know, and I've been here a lot of times about talking about um, Stop the Violence, talking mm -hmm. about my organization, Nashville Peacemakers. Mm -hmm. I had a young lady come to me and ask me, uh, Ms. Greenlee, do you have a place for young people to come? Because we want to stress about how we are fear with this violence now. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, you know, you could use my facility. And they said, well, it's a bunch of youth. And I said, well, that's what I need because the youth is the one that's going around mm -hmm. doing the violence. And I want to talk about what it is that we could do to help you guys. But we need to hear you guys now because I always come on here with older people and that's fine. But now it's time for me to bring the young out and give them a chance to hear their voice since we can't be brought to the table that, to express how we feel from anyone else. So I've been out here for a minute and um, these two young men that sit next to me, they know me, they've been out here for a minute. They're very well known in the community by a lot of people themselves and not just by through crime, but just good things that they have done in the community. So this is why I'm asking them to come. I wanna hear on the man prospect about what it feels like out here with this violence and what could change mm -hmm. and then we always labeled about all the black men's doing this and doing that mm -hmm. I want to just kind of bring a different look on it mm -hmm. and why I think that we can you know solve some of this Very so this mm -hmm. this is who I have with me I have Mr. Langster uh, he's very well known from the uh, community he'll tell you about him and then I have Mr. Mr. Moore, who's um, we go back a long way, and I just I just feel like they have something to share. Mm. Mr. Langston, let's have you to sort of give us some information in reference to your background, education, and your experiences, and why you are here this morning with us. And Moore will do the same. Well, uh, I'm from Nashville, a native of Nashville. I lived on every part of Nashville. I'm mostly known out of the, the south side of Nashville. Uh, I was good in sports coming up. I was a great football player, you know, I had opportunities, but I chose the wrong path. Um, I done over a total of eight years incarcerated. I'm only 27 years old now. So uh, the reason why I'm here is because I know it's possible to change. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not going to be easy, but it's possible, you know. So I'm just, I'm basically with the movement. Miss mm -hmm. Clemmy, she's with the movement. We actually out here, foot soldiers trying to get things going. Um, but, you know, uh, it's things that we gonna need and it's, it's things that we gonna need people to understand to, in order to get to where we are going. What about you, Mr. Moore? Well, uh, I'm Chauncey Moore. I'm from East Nashville. My feelings on a lot of things are, are not where they need to be because things are not where they are supposed to be. I linked up with Miss Clemmie Greenlee and I thank God for her. Our community is starving. It's starving to the point, man, where a lot of people don't understand where we are really coming from. People have to realize and understand that this generation is different from the last. The things that you implemented, the things that you chose to do and say then will not work for the youth of today. It's like having a job. And every day, you know, you go to this job and you expect your employee to give you what it is to do your job. Yeah. So when you don't have the things that you are expecting to do your job, how can you do your job? Mm -hmm. If you have no way to do it, then, you know, you resort to other things, other ways of doing it. 
Very good. And so, Ms. Greenleaf, what we're saying here is that we do have two young men mm -hmm. who have been around. I think mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Linkson said that he had uh, been away from us for mm -hmm. eight years, mm -hmm. and et cetera. And so he has experienced some of these mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's got a lot of information that we need. Yes. And I think that being a member of the uh, Youth Against Murder, mm -hmm. uh, they can indicate that that is a real problem. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the first commercial break. Okay. And when we come back, we want uh, Mr. Langston and mm -hmm. Mr. Moore mm -hmm. under your direction mm -hmm. to uh, get involved with explaining to us mm -hmm. some of the problems in reference mm -hmm. to this organization mm -hmm. and why this organization, Youth Against Murder. Mm -hmm. And so, so we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Eight minutes now. Okay. Well, what we want to do. I want y'all to mostly talk. Can they hear me all the time? You see okay. what I'm saying? And so when we come back, let's, let, I tell you, when we come back, we're going to start with Mr. Moore. Mm, okay. You see. Now, uh, this is youth against murder. Now, you tell us some of, if you've had some personal experiences in terms of uh, losing uh, some close person yeah, in, in, talk in about reference to that. Do the same, yeah, and the same thing with you, uh, Mr. Langston. Uh, you know, tell your personal story about. Yeah. Uh,